for being first a Jed, I mean, congratulations on the call up. What does it mean to be sitting here right now with that Wallaby shirt on, knowing you're debuting in two days' time? Yeah, it's um, it's pretty surreal to be honest. Um, something that I thought, you know, would never really come, probably a couple of years ago or even last year, and um, yeah, to get this opportunity is huge. A little setback, but. You know, it wouldn't be a part of my journey if I didn't have a setback in it. So, um, yeah, mate, I'm super, super excited to, to run out on Saturday. But just on that little setback, I mean, dealing with, as you said, that's almost normality for your career, but how do you sort of keep positive and you know, keep that sort of, that mindset and knowing how close you were, particularly this time to playing in England? Yeah, it's, it's interesting because, in, you know, earlier on in my career, you know, it would probably set me off the rails a bit, but... Um, you know, I've got a, a good, good, got a good support network around me with my family and my wife and little girl now. So, uh, you know, there's bigger things than just rugby. So, you know, things to take me away from that and um, remain positive and, um, you know, knowing that, you know, we've got the best physio staff here and, and working towards uh, that goal, which is getting that cap on Saturday. You think having that sort of avenue outside rugby and that that perspective has really made you a better player, both on and off the field, as a teammate. Yeah, I think yeah, better player, better person, um, give me a huge amount of perspective, um, and you know, just showing me what's important, and um, you know, it just allows me to really <laughs> enjoy my footy uh, because it, it doesn't go forever. It, it isn't a, a long-term thing. Um, so I got to really enjoy it by the time I've got it and make the most out of it. And, um, yeah, I'm just really happy that you know my form throughout the year has got me, given me this opportunity. Now it's just taking it on Saturday. Dan, am I right in um, in thinking you grew up with um, Matt and Alex Gibbon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I grew up really close family friends with the. With the Gibbons, me and me and Alex played all our country rugby together. Played each other, played against each other since we were 10, 11 years old. And um, you know, Matt was a couple of years behind him, but I've known Matt for the same amount of time. And um, I'm so excited to to share this opportunity with him. And um, you know, it's it's as much as I am stoked for my opportunity. I, I'm so proud of that guy. And everything he's overcome and you know the the stuff they've gone through throughout their life you know the resilience he's shown um i'm, I'm so proud of him what just what has it been like being in camp together um with matt and then you know when you find out together that you're you're going to debut in the same game for the wallabies given you know your history together and also your own individual paths to this point <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It's a lot being in camp with Matt than Alex. Alex is a maniac, and then Matt's very mellow. So uh, he's, um, yeah, he had a lot of knowledge to get in, and and so did I. Uh, you know, being injured for that long amount, of, long period of time, and then um, coming back in these last two weeks. So he kind of bounced, you know, the this, the game plans off each other. So we helped each other learn, and um, I know he's excited. I know, you know. He, Alex is super excited and, and his family are too and um, you know all the people up in the far north coast have been messaging both of us all day um, yeah and all that's down at southern districts as well. Ted, um, turns out good decision to come home. <laughs> yeah it, it, uh, it does <coughs> mate it does uh, you know I'm just grateful that I got given the opportunity by DC and, um, you know, had had a lot of the players' support and, and uh, and you know, I knew I needed to come, ho come home with the right attitude because, you know, I've talked about it plenty of times before, I didn't have that before and I um, always believed in my ability um, but I, you know, probably the work ethic and the attitude wasn't there and that's something that time away really showed me and yeah, it's uh, now I get to sort of reap the rewards of all that hard work. Yeah. And Lockie, just before we come to you, mate, um, thanks for sitting patiently. Um, <laughs> That's all good. Jed, did, was there much with, um, like Czech was obviously there at the Tars in 2015, finished up there. Was there 
is, is it, it's kind of a bit of a coincidence once again that that he's the opposition coach. Did he ever have any kind of words to you about where you needed to get to as a, as a player to, to make this become a dream? Um, you know, with Czech was always hard work and, and having that mental edge. Um, and, you know, he, he brought me into camps and, and he, he developed me a lot uh, throughout my early stages of career. You know, I got signed at the Tars in 2013 by Czech and then, you know, he kept me around and um, I only got a couple of games under him, but I know what his coaching style is. And at the time, it was probably, I probably hated it, but now looking back on it, I'm, I'm super grateful for the lessons that he taught me and, and um, yeah, you know, the pressure that he put on me at the time made me much more resilient person this time around. And were there tears when you, when you got named? <laughs> um, there was no tears, no. I think uh, Jakey Gordon was would have uh, ripped shreds off me if there was any tears, but later on in the room when I called my family and stuff <laughs> like that, I was, I was uh, they were definitely coming on. And I think it, it's been a hectic week and I've, I've been trying to manage it as best as I can, but I think once I walk out there, it'll all sort of hit home and I'm looking forward to that moment. Ed, um, could you uh, kind of give some insight into what Darren Coleman's done with you since your return and, and if you sense that you know he might might not have been so welcoming considering histories and that he was taking maybe a bit of a chance do you kind of feel that way yeah well when you know i originally agreed to sign with the tars and then he got named head coach and you know he's spoken about it something that he needed to readdress you know me and him need to sit down and have a hard conversation and i basically you know talked about my growth as a person and um, he talked about his growth as a coach and you know I showed him the work that I've been doing and um, and <coughs> mate to be honest he has just the the game plan that we have and and the way that he coaches is very much you know getting the best out of the indiv individual but also you know, allowing the individual to be him, himself and, and be comfortable in that. And um, I think not just only me, you've seen a lot of the, the Tars players who probably didn't have a great year last year really flourish in his system because he allows guys to be themselves, uh, express themselves and, and gives them full confidence. Anything for Lockie here, guys? An, and sorry. Oh, sorry, just one more on your position, which position you kind of prefer and how... Um, how you are kind of set up to play within this uh, structure? Um, mate, I, I, I'm honestly happy with with anything. As as you know, I've played uh, lock all this year, but you know, the whole start of my career, I was a uh, number eight um, and playing a bit of six as well. Um, the good thing about that is, you know, I offer a lot of versatility and I can cover a lot of positions. So uh, so it's. It's it's a good thing for me that I can do all that, and I'm also a lot lighter than I was, you know, back in back in you know 2016, 2017, where I was playing number eight and a lot leaner. So it probably kind of suits me in this system, and um, yeah, it gives uh, you know a good plan moving into moving forward in these in this series. Thank you, Lockie. When did you um, when did you find out you're playing, mate? Uh... Oh, well, during the session on Tuesday, um, Dave just went down. He didn't look too good. So at that point, I had a little feeling. I wasn't too sure, though. Um, but then the day after, uh, Ren's come up to me and said that um, Dave's no good, so I'll, I'll slot in for the weekend. When you think about your game from where it was last year when you uh, made your test debut to, to now, um, how much do you think it's improved in that, in that space of time? Uh yeah, well, I'd, like, I'd like to think it's improved, but um, I think I think just getting more footy under under my belt from Super Rugby this year um, will really benefit me going into this weekend and hopefully into more Wallaby games. Um, last year, I obviously didn't have that much experience, and um, in my opinion, I think uh, it was it let me down a little bit. But um, yeah, hopefully this year uh, it'll be better. 
bunch of um, Brumbies guys off off the bench as well, and, and you guys are probably going to have a big role to kind of counter someone like a, a Gus Creevy who's really hard on the ball. Is is the breakdown presence something that that's really been spoken about and winning that battle? Uh, yeah, hundred percent. It's been a big focus this week. Um, uh, they yeah, they, they love getting in breakdowns, getting on the ball. Uh, they got Montoya as well. Um, yeah, so there will be a big focus. I think um, the breakdown will go a long way to uh, w- winning the game. Yeah, just coming yeah. off the bench, that that combination with Falau is now starting. I mean, you guys interchange so much during the Brumbies. Is that just it's almost natural confidence knowing it's just a nice little continuity heading from Super Rugby? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is nice um, coming on to Falau. We've done it a bit. Uh, he's a good man. So, yeah, that um, no, should be good. Hi, Jed. Um, how do you see the the battle with the Argentinian pack? And uh, what do you think about Pablo Matera? <laughs> He's an unbelievable player. Um, I was uh, I remember him when I played uh, Australian under 20s over in South Africa, and he was the Argentinian captain at the same year, and he absolutely dominated us in that game. And He's continued to do it, you know, throughout his whole career, and even with the Crusaders this year, he was unbelievable for them. So he's a huge threat to us, um, and you know they've got a really strong forward pack, especially with Kramer at six as well. So they're going to be big bodies coming down our channels. So we're uh, we need to, you know, do our pe- do our best to try and nullify that, and um, you know we're we're really looking forward to it. Lucky with uh, Billy flying over at the moment. Um, what has sort of just being in and around this Wallabies team helped to, to prepare you for, for playing at the test level? Uh, yeah, Billy's going to love it. I think he'll be, what, in like three days. Um, he's got a massive flight coming over. Um, yeah, but, mate, he's, uh, he's a good man. He's going to love He's gonna love being around this. Um, suits him to a T. He, he loves footy. He um, lo- loves being away. Um, yeah, I honestly can't wait for him to get here.